Hey, what's up? Welcome to No School Media. We have a very exciting tutorial right now. It's been inspired by one of the YouTubers. I would like to make a shout out to him, uh, to Sir Maru of iPhone Films by Maru. Um, he made this uh, shine tutorial. And then I asked him if I could modify the effect and show it to you how I did it. You could also check out this work. Um, I'm going to put the link on the description below so you could just click it out and check it out. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's proceed. Now let's jump to the tutorial. I have a clip here. Let's make a new comp. Okay. Let's name this main comp. Twenty five frames per second and ADP. Mm, that's okay. Then we'll drag the book clip on the main comp. And then let's scrub to the timeline. Um, look for the spot where we could see all the letters of the books. And we're going to freeze it up. Right about there. Then time. Freeze frame. Now we're going to pre-compose it and name this source. Then we're going to duplicate the source. And then we're going to put an adjustment layer on top. So right click, new, adjustment layer. Into the adjustment layer on the effects panel, we're going to put a tint. Then we're going to add another effect. Uh, just leave the tint as it is. And then we're going to add curves adjustment and crank up the brightness a little and the contrast so we could see every detail of the letters. Okay, close this one and then we're going to add invert but we're going to encounter a problem because the fold of the book is too dark so it's going to spill a light so we're going to add a solid layer uh, let's adjust the curves first so we can see a lot of details in this one it's not too bright just enough And then uh, we're going to have a problem with this side, the center. So what we're going to do is going to add a new solid. Uh, let's call this one mm, black bar. Then we're going to hide it out, mask the center. Okay, and let's feather this one a little. Then we're going to pre-compose all of this one. But don't include the source one. And we're going to name this one uh, Light Comp. And then press enter. And then we're going to add another adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. And then we're going to add CC Radial Fast Blur. 
then let's crank up the amount 97 and then uh, on the zoom let's put it on brightest then we're going to add a null object and then let's name this one okay let's name this one light and make it a 3d layer now what we're going to do is we're going to link the position of the light onto the null object so open up the effects cc radial blast blur and then alt click onto the center and we're going to pick whip the center to the light null object and then we're going to add an expression dot to comp open parentheses open bracket zero comma zero comma zero and then close bracket close parentheses and then we're done so what you can see now if I drag the null object let's scale this one up now if I drag the null object the light follows the null object And also you could use this one on 3D space. Okay. Now we're going to add a hole where the light is peeking off. Let's add a new solid. Then we're going to name this solid hole make it black and then press OK then we're going to mask the center out ellipse tool okay shrink the top and bottom a little right about there then we're going to add a new null object then we're going to name this one hole control and then we're going to link this hole to the hole control okay pick whip and then put it on the hole control then we're going to move this hole right below the adjustment layer just above the light comp Okay, go to the light comp and set the hole as an alpha mat. So you see, the light is only peeking on that hole that we made. And then we're going to select the light comp up to the hole control and not including the source comp. And let's pre-compose this one. Okay, pre-compose and we're going to name it shine okay um, let's change the mode into screen and then let's feather the hole right about there now let's go back to our main comp And then we're going to control the movement of the light in this main comp. So we're going to add a new null object. And then we're going to name this uh, whole control 2. Okay, let's open up our shine comp drag it on the side and let's open the position of the whole control and also the position of the whole control to on the main comp then alt click the position of the whole control on the shine comp drag this one to the position of the whole control to on the main comp 
and then let's close this whole control and shine comp so now if I drag the whole control I'm dragging actually the null object inside the shine comp there and final touch is we're going to colorize this one so on the shine comp we're going to add a curves adjustment from here you can color it in any way that you wanted and now we're going to increase and decrease the brightness and the contrast a little and then lower down the red maybe ramp up the green and the blue right about there so you can see some holy light and then we're going to add a new adjustment layer just to blend everything together uh, curves adjustment just darken it up a little and just colorizing it maybe oh, okay sorry just colorizing it maybe um, a blue then a bit of a green and uh, less maybe less of a red there just making it all popped out and then maybe darken it a little yeah uh, I think we're done let's just move this adjustment layer just below the whole control too um, and then we're done I hope you have learned something and you could use this technique into any project that you have um, once again shout out to Sir Maru of iPhone films by Maru uh, you could check his YouTube account um, he has also some good uh, things that he did there and once again this is uh, no school media Please share, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Um, next time, we're going to post more effects for you guys. Thank you.